I'm running a project on heritage Romanian and also on other heritage languages in France. Uh, I uh, conducted this study uh, for two years now, and it is uh, part, an important part of it is the um, heritage Romanian, which is spoken in France by uh, children of heritage uh, of um, uh, Romanian immigrants. And the work I will present today is joint work with Larissa Avram and Alexandru Mardale. From, uh, Larissa is from the University of Bucharest and she's a specialist in language acquisition in general. And Alexandru Mardale is uh, uh, an associate professor uh, at the National Institute for Oriental Language and Civilizations, and he teaches uh, Romanian and Romanian grammar uh, in, in more uh, precisely. Uh, so, uh, Alexandru is the one who uh, collected the data that I will present today. Um, so, I will uh, first uh, uh, talk about the project in general, introduce some methodological aspects, and then present three studies that we've done so far on uh, relative clauses in uh, Heritage Romanian in production, then another study in comprehension, and a study on differential object marking in Heritage Romanian in narratives, and then try to reach some general conclusions. Um, so, uh, the project is called Langue d'Héritage en France. It is a pilot project on heritage languages and, in particular, on the acquisition of heritage Romanian by children of Romanian immigrants in France. Our goal was to identify some possible differences between the structures which are vulnerable in the acquisition of heritage Romanian before schooling and after the beginning of schooling in French with data from two relevant age groups. And I think this is quite new because actually uh, studies on heritage Romanian for now, uh, especially on the topics that I will develop today, uh, are have, have been conducted with uh, participations by adults. I mean, uh, with adult participants. Um, so we tried to uh, take into account uh, the differences, the potential differences between age groups uh, among these children, and we tried to answer three general questions. What kind of bilinguals are they? What structures are vulnerable? And is there any difference between these structures in the two groups that we, uh, uh, that we uh, distinguished? Uh, so, uh, let me tell you about the project, the general project. It has been funded by our uh, respective universities. Uh, so, it is based at Paris 8 and the CNRS, the National Center for uh, Scientific Research, and uh, cooperation with the University of Bucharest, of Strasbourg, and the INALCO. And it has been conducted between uh, since January 2020, and it will end in December 21. But hopefully, we will manage to continue our work in a, in maybe in another in another uh, format. Um, we have uh, also some uh, some collaborators that are. Uh, working in uh, sociolinguistics and pragmatics. So this is the team. Uh, there is Larissa from uh, the University of Bucharest, um, Gabriela Bolbuye, also from Bucharest, Alexandru Mardale from Inalco, Ana Maria Gerlanu from Strasbourg, and uh, uh, Timea Piquel from uh, Paris 8, and Andra Vasilescu from, from Bucharest. Um, we have a page on uh, our uh, on the on the website of our lab. Uh, if someone is interested, uh, it is easy to find Le Langue d'Héritage en France uh, at Structure Formelle du Langage, and this page is uh, presenting the project in um, in a broad way. And I also um, started the creation of a, uh, of a more detailed website, which is in, in progress now. 
uh, especially with a frequently asked question, which is in progress, and I hope to develop uh, more and more um, in the future. The topics that we've uh, starting, uh, started investigating are the following relative clauses, differential object marking, the use of the subject, and also we observed uh, case marking, critics, and also lexical uh, properties and phonetics. Um, so uh, I, I guess everyone here is familiar with the concept of heritage languages. Uh, the speakers of, her of heritage languages are bilinguals who learned uh, their language in their family. But this language is not the majority language of their society. And in this case, because of a language shift which takes place in, at some point in, the, in their lives, uh, they become unbalanced bilinguals and uh, possibly the heritage language may suffer delays in acquisition or might be completely acquired and some structures may undergo attrition. Uh, but heritage speakers addressed in most studies are adults, as I said, uh, from the first or the second generation of immigrants. Uh, and this uh, leaves under study the early phase of the acquisition of these languages and also uh, does not um, pay enough attention to differences and correlations, possible differences and correlations between the early linguistic development and what happens after the young heritage speakers begin schooling in the dominant language. Uh, so, um, on a methodological uh, side, uh, what we did is first to collect a corpus of audio recorded frog stories narrated by young speakers of heritage Romanian in France. We have 39 stories recorded in French and Romanian and transcribed. And in the actual studies that I will present, we used 34 stories, uh, recordings for reasons that will become uh, clear. We have um, uh, a more um, homogeneous group that we, uh, we, we decided to study more uh, closely. And we also have some diary data uh, uh, because uh, all, all of us, and especially Alexandru Mardale, uh, 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 have been in contact with this, uh, these children and uh, observed everyday speech. Uh, we compare the heritage Romanian of these children to the baseline and to monolingual children from mainland. And we compared also two group of, groups of heritage speakers divided according to speech rate in the two languages. We also collected experimental data for the production and comprehension of relative clauses. And we are currently collecting, collecting experimental data for the production and comprehension of the virtual object marking. Um, this is a slide about frog stories. I don't want to insist on why we use them. Uh, the obvious reason is that that makes cross-linguistic comparison possible because there are lots of studies on uh, uh, with this methodology and they are uh, particularly informative on uh, speech rate, grammatical properties and uh, we also have uh, frog stories from adults, so we can see differences between monolinguals and heritage speakers and so on. Uh, so the participants are, as I said, we have 39 children aged from uh, 5 to 14 years. And they are born in France and living in Romanian families with both uh, parents speaking Romanian. And the target group is one of uh, 34 children which live in the north surroundings of Paris and follow Romanian courses uh, two hours per week. Uh, and they come from the northern region of Romania. <clears throat> I included here a map of uh, uh, the area in which they live. Uh, uh, we 
um, so they are in Le Blanc Menil. For some reason, I'm unable to uh, to move my mouse now. So, but it's where you see the plane because it's next to the to to the to the airport. And uh, this small town is situated in the most uh, diverse department in France, uh, which is uh, Seine-Saint-Denis, and it is also the department in which our university is situated. So uh, this makes the project more, more coherent. Um, I can give further information about, uh, about the uh, concrete um, setting in which they live if someone is interested. Uh, so we calculated speech rate on the basis of the average word per minute in frog stories to see if there is uh, some uh, tendency. And our first measures indicated that for older speech, uh, heritage speakers, speech rate is higher in the dominant language in, Fr in French. Uh, and younger speakers do not show this difference. So we concluded that younger heritage speakers are balanced bilinguals while Older heritage speakers show a dominance in the majority language. And this is a sample of, uh, uh, of the numbers. So uh, there is a tendency uh, and um, a, uh, a correlation between age and the speech rate, uh, which tendentially is uh, superior in French than in uh, Romanian for older speakers. So uh, this is how we proceeded. And uh, for relative clauses, uh, we decided so to, uh, to investigate some topics which were also uh, investigated previously in heritage uh, languages. Um, uh, and we started by relative clauses and differential logic marking. Uh, and also we have colleagues that uh, investigated the, the use of the subject. So these are the, the more uh, advanced uh, 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 studies that we have for now. Uh, on relative clauses, uh, we decided to investigate this uh, uh, well-known asymmetry between subject relatives and direct object relatives, uh, both in production and in comprehension. Uh, speaking of the cat, I'm um, alone home with my cat, so uh, I might be interrupted by the cat. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Uh, so headed relative clauses show an asymmetry between subject relatives and uh, DORs, both in production and in comprehension. DORs are required Required later than subject relatives across languages. And uh, this delay is accounted for in terms of computational complexity and uh, intervention effects. And ooh, the prediction is that structures which are acquired late by monolinguals will be even more vulnerable in heritage languages, according to the incomplete language acquisition hypothesis they could show delayed emergence and deterioration in line with increasing age as an effect of schooling in the majority language. So DORs should be more vulnerable in heritage uh, languages. Uh, so the aim is to investigate the production and the comprehension of subject relatives and direct, ob direct object relatives by child heritage speakers of Romanian in a French uh, context. And the question is uh, whether uh, DORs are more vulnerable in heritage Romanian and uh, is the asymmetry between subject and direct object relatives found both in production and in comprehension and we want to shed light on the interplay between computational complexity and impoverished input in the acquisition of syntactically complex structures in heritage languages. Uh, for this part of the talk, the roadmap, the roadmap is the following. We will look at um, uh, some uh, background on the asymmetry between uh, subject and direct object relatives uh, in general, then uh, see how um, 
what differences we may uh, find between relative clauses in Romanian and French, what are the predictions for the acquisition of Heritage Romanian, and then look at uh, what we found in production and compre comprehension and uh, reach uh, conclusion. Um, uh, as I already, well, I didn't say, but uh, there is this asymmetry between subject and direct object relatives, and uh, this asymmetry has been accounted for, for in terms of uh, intervention effects. Uh, DORs are difficult because of the local relationship between the displaced element and its trace, which is blocked by the intervening subject. Um, so, uh, intervention effects have been accounted for in terms of language properties per se and in terms of language external resources. For instance, intervention effects arise from processing limitations. Uh, long distance dependencies with a high degree of intervention require working memory resources. Uh, so, language external resources are, are also involved. Um, and the acquisition of more complex structures which rely on external resources is affected by exposure. Uh, and we also have uh, studies from, different, uh, from a different perspective. Uh, for instance, McDonald's 2013, uh, who says that DORs are difficult to comprehend because they are less frequent in the input. Um, and uh, Chili Brasi et al. Uh, 2019 say that while the difficulties in production arise from processing constraints, the difficulties in perception are a consequence of input. Um, so in Romanian, we have studies that have shown that uh, there is a tendency uh, to avoid DOR in elicitation tasks and in narratives by uh, adults. Uh, and so computational complexity um, in production translates into reduced input. Uh, and uh, we have this asymmetry in production which uh, show computation uh, which is uh, due to computational complexity and there is also an asymmetry in comprehension which may be affected by an additional factor which is reduced input so as a consequence of the fact that adults avoid uh, production of DORs um, so, in a nutshell, Romanian relative clauses and French relative clauses are quite similar, uh, but there are some differences, and here I will insist on uh, some relevant differences uh, between the two languages. There is, um, well, there is uh, P marking in the in uh, the ORs, uh, and the subject is preferentially in post-verbal position in Romanian. While in French, uh, we can have we have the subject in pre-verbal position, prefer preferably, uh, and we we can have se faire passive used in subject relatives, uh, like in five. And we will see that these two differences uh, will, uh, will uh, be relevant for uh, the impact of the dominant language in uh, inherited Romanian. So, uh, for the first study in production, we raised the following questions. Are DORs in heritage Romanian more vulnerable in production than uh, subject relative clauses? Are they more vulnerable than in monolingual Romanian? Does DOR production deteriorate as an effect of a change in language dominance? And are there any interference effects of the dominant language? The task now is an elicited production task um, inspired by uh, tasks that have been used previously in the literature. And these are the two conditions. We have two test items uh, for subject relatives and for uh, DORs. And this is the expected answer that we, um, uh, 
that we wanted. I would rather be the child who eats apples or uh, eats pears or I would rather be the child whom mom hugs or mom greets. Um, here are the participants. They are, uh, as I said, divided in two groups. Uh, heritage speakers one are the younger uh, speakers and heritage speakers two are the older speakers and they are uh, compared with uh, uh, groups of monolinguals, uh, age-matched groups uh, of monolinguals. Uh, so, um, uh, and the reason why we split the the two um, the the group in two is uh, the relevance of uh, French. So the, the the dominant the dominant language is French for the older uh, heritage speakers. And so first we compare heritage speakers with uh, monolinguals. And we saw, so here we have, uh, uh, so the numbers are uh, per 10 clauses. So uh, we see that heritage speakers in the first group, the younger group, show low number of produced relatives overall and an obvious uh, asymmetry between subject and direct object uh, relatives. And they show much lower numbers than age-matched monolinguals, but they show the same error pattern. Uh, so, clitical mission, clitical agreement, resumptive DPs, and role reversal. But the knowledge of the relativization rule is similar to age-matched monolinguals. Um, uh, and we also see that heritage speakers in the first group produce fewer relatives overall and significantly fewer uh, direct object relatives than uh, subject relatives. Um, and when they have to produce DORs, heritage speakers, the younger heritage speakers, uh, by uh, comparison with monolinguals, uh, produce a high number of non-embedded clauses. And here we have row numbers on uh, per uh, seven. 70, which is the highest, uh, which is the number of relatives clauses that we they may they may uh, produce. Uh, so, uh, well, this is a small conclusion on heritage language and on heritage speakers in the first group. Um, uh, both subject and direct object relatives emerge later in heritage Romanian. DORs show much a much lower rate and um, lower than in monolinguals, uh, but the error pattern is the same as with monolinguals, and the avoidance strategies are the same as with monolinguals, but at different rates. So we have this uh, asymmetry between subject and direct object relatives in heritage Romanian. Uh, and an, uh, an asymmetry between knowledge of the relativization rule and production. Uh, now, looking at the second group, which we compare with the first group and with age match monolinguals, we see that there is an increase in relative close production overall. There is an asymmetry between subject and direct object relatives and the tendency to avoid producing DORs on a par with monolingual ch children. And we know that adults avoid producing DORs more than younger, ch younger children in the same task. So at age nine, production of DOR, DORs is no longer lagging behind in heritage Romanian. Uh, looking at the errors that they, uh, they made, uh, we see here that there is no qualitative difference with respect to errors between their DORs and the ones produced by the monolinguals. Um, so we have clitic commission and uh, resumptive DP, um, and there is no uh, significant significant difference between the errors that uh, heritage speakers and monolinguals uh, have uh, done um, in, um, 
in the ORs. Uh, now, what do heritage speakers, the older heritage speakers, produce when they have to produce the ORs? We see that uh, both groups produce a high number of subject relatives instead of direct object relatives, but only monolinguals produce reduced relatives. Uh, only heritage speakers uh, produced French-like subject relatives with, uh, uh, with se faire, actually with the equivalent of se faire because it was in Romanian. And uh, heritage speakers uh, had exclusively pre-verbal uh, subjects in uh, DORs. Um, here are some examples of, oh, I'm sorry. Here are some examples of uh, passive uh, uh, subject relatives in six. Uh, an example of uh, se faire uh, relative, and also an example of uh, preverbal subject uh, in, um, in a DOR, in eight. So uh, we may um, we may answer our initial questions to our initial questions. Uh, it seems that DORs in Heritage Romanian are uh, indeed more vulnerable in production than subject relatives. They are a vulner more vulnerable vulnerable than in monolingual Romanian, but only during the early stage stages and only quantitatively. Uh, is uh, the production of um, uh, DORs deteriorated as an effect of a change in language dominance? The answer is no. There is an obvious increase with age, but at the same time, the analysis of avoidance strategies reveals some differences with respect to more complex substitutes. And uh, about the interferences with the dominant language, they exist indeed, mainly with the older heritage speakers, which resorted to French-like subject relatives, meaning that when avoiding computationally complex relatives, they resorted to a structure of the dominant language. And we also know that Italian children also resort to this structure in the same task. And they also um, produced only pre-verbal subjects in DORs. Um, the second study is in, uh, on the comprehension of relative clauses. Uh, we raised the same question as in the study in, on production. Um, and we had a task which is a binary sentence picture matching task with eight items per type of relative and four control sentences. Uh, and we had uh, transitive verbs, animate subjects and objects, and in each sentence the two DPs had the same number, which is singular, and the actions were semantically reversible. Uh, the participants here are compared with uh, monolinguals, and we also had the two groups. Uh, and we also have uh, um, a comparison with uh, 10 adults. Um, and the results are that at age 6, there is no delay, no comprehension problems, and no difference between the 6-year-olds and the 9-year-olds. So at age 6, comprehension seems to be already in place. Uh, DORs at age 6 show a low rate of correct responses in the DOR condition. I mean, uh, heritage speakers uh, show a low rate in uh, uh, DORs. Um, and there is a significant difference between uh, 6 and 9 year olds, which means that for comprehension of direct object relatives, there is a development, developmental change from 6 to 9. Um, uh, so, um, when comparing monolinguals and uh, heritage speakers, we see that uh, the first group, six-year-olds, 
are at a level which is similar to that of uh, four-year-olds and that the nine-year-olds are um, in the nine-year-olds the comprehension improves with age but they are at the level of six or seven-year-olds monolinguals so there is a delay uh, they seem to be two years delayed in uh, comparison with monolinguals Um, so, uh, the answer to the, uh, to the uh, initial questions, uh, we see that um, indeed DORs in heritage Romanian are more vulnerable in comprehension than subject relatives. They are more vulnerable than in monolingual Romanian and uh, there is no deterioration with age as an effect of uh, language dominance. Uh, and uh, with respect to the question uh, whether there are any differences, any interference effects of the dominant language, uh, there are possible, uh, possibly, there is a possible difference in uh, the position of the subjects. So we have to further test uh, whether a question with a preverbal subject could provide an important signal in, um, uh, for comprehension. Uh, so to conclude on our relative clauses, we notice an asymmetry in production and in comprehension between subject and direct object relatives, which we explained in terms of computational complexity. We also noticed an asymmetry between production and comprehension uh, in DORs. Uh, namely, production is more delayed than uh, comprehension is more delayed than production. And we tentatively explain this asymmetry in terms of the role of input for comprehension. More generally, the results support the view in that the, uh, that the acquisition of complex structures is even more delayed in heritage speakers. Uh, that production is delayed because of computational complexity, whereas comprehension is further delayed by reduced exposure. So uh, this was the study, uh, the two studies on, uh, uh, these were the two studies on relative clauses. And now I will proceed to uh, show you what we found on differential object marking. So DOM, differential object marking, is a phenomenon where some direct objects, direct objects, are differentially marked and they are um, marked, uh, the factors that um, uh, influence the marking are uh, definiteness, uh, specificity, topicality, effectiveness and telicity. Uh, and with this means that DOM involves syntax, uh, semantics, and uh, discourse uh, pragmatics. So it is a very complex phenomenon. But in spite of this complexity, in level one, DOM is acquired early by age three in uh, a lot of languages, including Romanian which is in contrast to what happens in 2L1 and in heritage languages where we, uh, it has been uh, shown that uh, there is later emergence, uh, an overall high rate of omission and vulnerability may be selective. So this could be explained by uh, language specific properties, by language, uh, the importance of language pairs uh, but also by um, uh, the external interface and by uh, reduced input. Um, uh, simultaneous uh, bilingual children attain the same competence in the two languages in spite of the fact that the input which bilinguals receive is quantitatively different from the one received by monolinguals. Input quantity and consistency um, 
So, uh, well, there is a stronger impact on the acquisition of phenomena with uh, required discourse integration uh, uh, by comparison with uh, those that um, are based on syntactic properties. So these uh, would be uh, acquired later in uh, 2L1. Um, uh, some background about uh, DOM in L1 and 2L1 Romanian in previous study. Uh, it has been shown that um, there is early emergence and early acquisition of DOM in both L1 and 2L1 Romanian. Uh, obligatory DOM is not problematic in either L1 or 2L1. Uh, in 2L1, there are fewer marked descriptive DPs in those contexts in which the use of DOM requires some integration and updating of contextual information. Uh, and in 2L1, the language pair and relative language dominance might be relevant. Um, so, uh, what Montour and colleagues have shown uh, is that uh, DOM is well preserved with first generation immigrants. Uh, it is vulnerable in heritage Romanian. Uh, they found omission of P and of clitic doubling and extension of P to inanimate objects. As we will see in a moment, this is the uh, the mechanism of uh, differential object marking in Romanian. We have a, a preposition P which marks uh, the, the direct object and there is critic doubling. Um, and um, there is a difference between simultaneous and sequential bilinguals, uh, which are all adults. So we wanted to extend the investigation to the acquisition of DOM by child heritage speakers of Romanian who live in France uh, to assess the potential vulner vulnerability of DOM in heritage languages, in heritage Romanian. Uh, and the investigation of DOM used by younger heritage speakers could shed light on whether the system is divergent from the onset of acquisition. So we will see some um, information about DOM in Romanian and then what we found in Child Heritage Romanian and some conclusions. Um, DOM in Romanian, uh, so there is a differential object marker which is the preposition P, as I said. As you can see in one, uh, proper names and uh, in two, pronouns are obligatorily um, uh, object uh, are obligatorily marked by P. So uh, these are plus animate DPs. And uh, in uh, the context of uh, definite descriptive DPs and indefinite descriptive DPs, uh, there is uh, optionality. And P signals topicality, discourse prominence, and accessibility of the marked object. So we have obligatory DOM and optional DOM. And uh, on uh, the same side, we see that in the same context, uh, P is obligatory and clitic doubling is obligatory. So when DOM is uh, optional, also, uh, critic doubling is, uh, is optional in the same context. Um, so the predictions for acquisition, uh, according to the interface hypothesis, a phenomenon which is obligatory and has a ro robust input cues should be acquired early. And this is the case of uh, DOM with definite pronouns and proper names. And uh, when it is optional with descriptive DPs, um, uh, as a consequence, consequence of variable input, uh, the interface hypothesis predicts that uh, there should be delayed acquisition. Um, 
Now, uh, we also have to say that the grammar of DOM in uh, Romanian um, is also uh, is complicated, further complicated by the fact that there are two uh, variants. So we have uh, one grammar which is conservative, where uh, both uh, single P, like in B, like in um, uh, C, is accepted and also uh, P correlated to clitic doubling is accepted and we have more conserv more innovative speakers that uh, um, uh, only accept um, uh, clitic doubling with P so for those speakers uh, actually the uh, the differential object marker becomes uh, the clitic doubling. Uh, so we have two competing grammars in Romanian, which uh, shows which is uh, actually a diachronic change in progress. Uh, and when uh, two variants are available um, uh, in child grammars, we could uh, expect increase in frequency and or extent of use of uh, the innovative variant beyond the level of their caretakers care and role models, a phenomenon which is known as uh, diachronic uh, incrementation. Um, so uh, what we want to do is uh, to see how is language change reflected in the DOM system of child heritage speakers of Romanian and do child heritage speakers of Romanian opt for the innovative variant? Um, and we studied this in frog story narratives. This is what uh, we have for now. Uh, the corpus is um, one of oral narratives on frog stories. We have uh, two uh, equal groups of heritage Romanian speakers and we compared them with adults uh, from the first generation immigrants and also with adults from uh, homeland. Um, I will skip that, be that because I uh, already uh, introduced the profile of the participants. Um, what is important to keep in mind is that uh, obviously French does not have an overt differential object marking. So we did a uh, less standard comparison with uh, DOM in uh, the oral narratives of a group from uh, the mainland. Uh, so uh, the Buja corpus and also some uh, uh, speakers that we have added from the project. Um, and uh, we wanted to see to look at marked DPs to see whether they are uh, target-like uh, or uh, whether they, there is overgeneralization. And we uh, take, uh, took into account animacy and the type of DP. So uh, the first comparison is uh, uh, we, we looked at uh, adults from homeland and the parents of our children, actually, so uh, adults from the first uh, generation of immigrants. And we saw that there is no statistically significant difference between the first generation of immigrants living in France for at least eight years and Romanian adults living in Romania, which is in line with what was reported for first generation immigrants in the US. Uh, now, uh, uh, concerning child heritage speakers, uh, we see in this slide that the younger heritage speakers have a level comparable to the first generation immigrants and that the older heritage speakers have a um, significantly lower rate of DOM. Um, Heritage speakers compared to L1 show lower uh, lower DOM rates. 
Uh, and note that the L1 uh, speakers have possible uh, the young uh, young uh, the young speakers of uh, Romanian have possibly higher uh, DOM use in optional context than in adult speech. Um, so uh, when we look at what adults do in uh, clitic doubling. Uh, we see that there is no uh, diachronic incrementation in child heritage Romanian. The older heritage speakers have a significantly lower uh, rate of clitic doubling, which could be uh, representing a deterioration in line with increasing age. Uh, but heritage speakers use clitic doubling in optional context at a lower rate, but correctly. So there is no um we cannot say that they uh they lose uh, knowledge of clitic doubling uh, so um what we see here when looking at uh adults at uh, the two groups of heritage speakers and the uh, the young monolinguals in clitic doubling uh, is that under conditions of diachronic change, child heritage speakers do not opt for the innovative DOM variant. Uh, so they have uh, uh, a more conservative grammar. And there is a significant quantitative drop from age 6 to age 10. So the older ones uh, underuse uh, clitic doubling. Um, so we have a decrease in object marking from age 6 to age 10, a low rate of clitic doubling with both heritage uh, group, uh, speaker groups and a significant decrease at age 10. Uh, we see that under conditions of diachronic change, child heritage speakers do not opt for the innovative variant of DOM. And uh, we seem to find uh, deterioration in line with increasing age and maybe uh, these speakers uh, progressively there is no uh, actual loss of uh, the OM in heritage uh, sp uh, speakers but uh, there is a tendency which could mean that later on they would uh, uh, undergo uh, a loss of the OM. But, and also, there are no divergent uses of the OM in, in these speakers. So they, they, know the, they know the rules, they know the grammar of uh, differential object marking in Romanian. Um, and so we can ask what has changed from uh, age 6 to age 10. Uh, and there is, um, the changes are a shift in input quantity. These children, uh, as an effect of uh, uh, the time they uh, spend, uh, they spend in school, receive a, a less input of Romanian, and there is a shift in language dominance associated, also associated with uh, schooling. Uh, but the knowledge of the properties of the DOM system has not changed. Um, To further discuss, in heritage language acquisition, we can have cases in which the bilingual mind has differential access to competing representation, representations which may be more or less difficult uh, as an effect of, for instance, pressures of speech in real time. Uh, there is one core factor which determines differential access in heritage uh, languages, which is the relative dominance of the two languages. Uh, and the one which becomes dominant may affect the weaker language or seep through the weaker language as uh, uh, has been with the term that has been used in, uh, uh, in the study that is uh, cited uh, in, um, in this slide. 
the heritage speakers may encounter difficulties in assessing accessing particular structures of the weaker language. And uh, when a particular representation is difficult to compute, uh, one, uh, they, they may uh, resort to alternative options. Um, there is a structural similarity or an overlap between French and Romanian, which may favor language interference effects under pressure from the dominant language. And the, French, the similar French structure wins. It is more stable and available in both systems. We see that French uh, does not mark the object, and in Romanian we have uh, uh, the, in the input uh, these children uh, perceive also marked objects and unmarked objects and verb uh, marked object with uh, uh, and, and both uh, marked object and and the clitic. So, uh, in sum, the structure that wins is the one with the unmarked object. Um, I don't know how much time I have. I think I will skip the results on clitic doubling and go to the conclusions. Um, for DOM, we see that the system is not incomplete nor lost, at least not at age 10, but DOM is underused in optional contexts. Uh, and uh, this is due to the fact that syntax discourse interface phenomena are vulnerable in general, and they are even more vulnerable when there are two competing structures. Uh, input reduction and shift in language dominance may cause further difficulties in accessing features or representations of the OM. And under these conditions, linguistic similarity between the two languages favors language interference effects. Uh, we also saw that diachronic, diachronic incrementation is delayed in the DOM system of child heritage speakers of Romanian. Uh, in scenarios of input reduction and inconsistency, heritage acquirers uh, seem to be, uh, in our case, more conservative. But this is not because knowledge of grammar is incomplete or lost, but because some structures or lexical items or features may become difficult to access or to compute due to additional demands on processing capacity. Um, so uh, now I will uh, summarize, uh, try and summarize our main findings uh, concerning the uh, three studies that I presented, uh, and also parallel observations based on uh, diary notes. Our preliminary data seem to indicate that older heritage speakers show unbalanced bilingualism, probably as an effect of schooling. Uh, they um, have vulnerable structures, which are complex structures. And the vulnerability seems to increase in older heritage speakers. Um, in case of the younger heritage speakers, Vulnerable structures are uh, the same as in monolingual acquisition, but older bilingualism shows the impact of the dominant language uh, in the form of transfer in some structures. More precisely, properties situated at the interface of syntax and discourse, syntax and morphology, and structures with a complex syntactic derivation. Uh, and finally, the syntax of vulnerable structures can be acquired in spite of the impoverished input which uh, heritage speakers receive, but they are produced and comprehended at a lower pace and are prone to cross-linguistic interference effects. Um, these are some references and uh, thank you for your attention.